Hello little heartbirds, it's Narissa here from twoheartbirds.com, the internet's most delicious and exciting and passionate daily wedding video blog ever. Today I want to talk to you about creating plan B's. Now most brides uh, who are having functions outside, whether it be the ceremony and reception or, or both, ceremony and reception, they have a plan B for a different venue in case of weather, whether that be rain or wind or whatever it may be. That you know, washes you out and you have to change the venue. And, and most brides, I think, are savvy to that. Um, some do still hope and pray that, you know, they have their uh, their wedding in the middle of summer and just think it's summer and it won't rain and it does. You know, I encourage you to have a plan B. But I'm talking about plan Bs today with, uh, with your services, your other services. I had a friend who got married a couple of weeks ago and... Um, she, she had a funny sort of feeling, um, which I always suggest you follow, uh, to ring her the, the people who she hired her cars from just to check that they were coming to the wedding. And lo and behold, she rang them and they were uh, overseas on an eight-week holiday <laughs> and they weren't coming to her wedding at all. So she had to go into a bit of a frantic panic and try and book, book uh, alternate um, uh, transport to the to the wedding which she did and everything was fine but it just made me think about things you know you it might be a good idea just to check on all of your services you know two weeks a week out uh, from the wedding just to make sure that they you know they're definitely coming they're going to be here at a certain time you know to make sure that you know your expectations of what you need to provide to them or what what they're delivering to you or picking up or whatever it may be so that when the day arrives you know everything's in place all the peeps that you need are there nobody's doing a no-show and everything will run smoothly um, and also you know if you do it the week or two weeks beforehand it gives you um, that opportunity to choose something else now obviously it's not going to be ideal or the first thing that you chose um, like things do happen for a reason they say but at least it's not happening on the wedding day so uh, it gives you a chance to you know not stress out as much as well you could so little heartbirds here's my question of the day what have you done in terms of creating a plan B to make your wedding run as smooth as possible? Until I see you again soon. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do.